We don't fully understand how ovarian cancer starts. Uh, we counsel our patients that most of our ovarian cysts are benign and it is not necessarily a precancer condition. We try to reassure our patient that most of the time it is okay and it is non-cancerous and it may go away on its own. However, if the cyst uh, grows over time or there is more solid component, and especially if there is a family history, then surgical removal is safer um, than follow-up uh, over time. So typically the differentiation between a simple ovarian cyst and ovarian cancer is not always as simple. We'll look at certain factors on the imaging, um, such as whether the cyst has septation, what kind of blood supply it has, how many blood vessels, and, and what is the solid component of the ovarian cyst. We also ask the patient about a family history, if there's anyone that has uh, had ovarian cancer in their family or ovarian cyst, um, that may put them at higher risk for potential ovarian cancer. In um, uncertain cases, we may order additional imaging, such as a CT scan or a pelvic MRI that often helps to differentiate between benign or cancerous ovarian cyst. If you're still not completely certain what it is, um, then we may follow up with repeat imaging six to eight weeks after the initial diagnosis, or we may recommend surgical removal of the cyst if it is too large and unlikely to go away on its own. So having an ovarian cyst in the, in the past uh, will put someone at increased risk for having another ovarian cyst in the future, but it doesn't mean that they have an increased risk for ovarian cancer.